Hello, Aries. This is Renee. Aries, this is going to be your next 48 hours. What's going on? What you can expect the next 48 hours. Um, this reading is timeless, so when you see it is when you are meant to receive it. So if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, sun, moon, and rising, this reading is for you. Okay, Aries, uh, when I was meditating on your energy, I really felt like you were having courage in a situation. I feel like you've had to have a lot of patience. Maybe you've been waiting on some something to um, progress, something to kind of begin to find out something that you need to know. Aries, let's get some more messages for you. What does Aries need to know next 48 hours? Please, Spirit, give me a message for Aries the next 48 hours. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. The King of Swords. The Devil. And the Sun. Wow, interesting energy. At the bottom, we have the tower. So I feel like you may be going through some kind of tower moment, Aries. I feel like you feel a lot of changes, a lot of things coming forward for you. But I feel like these changes are bringing a mixed message. Because I feel like there's a that if, if there's love coming in for you, I feel like it's kind of... bittersweet for some reason and I'm not really feeling like this is new love but I feel like this is a new beginning I feel like this may be someone coming back Aries in this energy but I feel like it's someone who's coming back into your life someone who's telling you that they've changed their ways they've worked some things out and they have figured some things out and now they want to try again they want to work on some kind of happiness some kind of new beginning with you very interesting energy we have for this one hmm. the ace of cups the king of swords the devil and the sun for some of you i feel like this may be a new beginning but i feel like i feel like someone may have been kind of in your life before so it may be sort of a new love but i feel like it's someone that you're familiar with um and i feel like you're familiar with their background you're familiar with things they've done in the past and it's like uh, putting up a red flag that um, you're not quite sure about, um, but I feel like you're you're totally looking for happiness. You're totally looking to have faith in this situation. Um, but I feel like you're not sure, Aries. Okay, we have the. Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Strength card, and the Four of Swords. So lots of swords in this reading. Now, there's a lot of thinking. There's a lot of things that you're trying to process. I feel like um, maybe in the past this person has taken something away from you. They caused a lot of conflict and chaos. And you're trying to understand if this person is right for you if you are in the right mind to accept this person you know um i feel like this person is coming in at a time when you're trying to focus on yourself you're trying to build things up and so you're not quite sure if you want to have courage in this situation or if you want to just focus on yourself focus on on your own understanding Okay, let's get a little bit of clarity on this for you, Aries. Okay, we have the Six of Swords, the Empress, and the Page of Cups. 
So I feel like you're moving into this place, Aries, where you're really moving into the situation where you want to really focus on yourself. You want to build yourself up to um, maybe get more understanding. But I feel like this person is making you an offer that you kind of can't resist. They're making you an offer that, you know, maybe you've been waiting for. Maybe you've been kind of anticipating. Um... But I feel like you're kind of moving towards this energy. You're moving towards this Empress energy. So, let's see. What else is going on for Aries the next 48 hours, please? What does Aries need to know in the next 48 hours? Okay, the Knight of Cups. I feel like there's an offer. Definitely an offer to reignite the situation a, a union this person really wants to care about you they really want some kind of relationship but i feel like in the back of your mind you're fearful you have doubts and i feel like those doubts are something that you're trying to understand something that you're trying to get clarity on because I feel like you have love for this person as well. Hmm. Give me an outcome for Aries, please. The next 48 hours, an outcome for Aries. The Four of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Two of Swords. Okay, so I feel like there's an important decision that you need to make for your future, but I feel like you're protecting yourself. You may be protecting your interests, protecting your heart, the way that they are protecting this pinnacle on top of their heart, okay? So yes, that is what I'm feeling. There's some important choice that you need to make, some kind of decision that's coming to light. Um, but I feel like that's all transpiring for you in the next 48 hours. Okay. But I feel like whatever decision you make is going to be right for you, Aries. Um, you have the three of wands energy, so I feel like you're growing and expanding. I feel like this is definitely something that you may want to pursue. You're just trying to find the right timing, the, the right atmosphere to do this. Okay. Let's get a message, an oracle message for Aries. Next 48 hours, please. <clears throat> okay, we have abundance. Okay, it's up to you. And within the next few months. So I feel like there may be some kind of abundance coming in for you. This doesn't just generally mean wealth. This could also mean abundance of love, good health, family, or so on. But I feel like within the next few months, it's going to be up to you to take advantage of this. Okay? Um, within the next few months, things are going to transpire more. You're going to be more abundant, more able. Okay? So this is what I have for you, Aries. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Um, I have all of the March readings uploaded. So if you want to take a look at your March reading for your sun, moon, and rising, you're able to do that now. Um, I have a playlist down below for all the March readings. So take a look at that. Okay, Aries. Oh, I feel winded. I feel a lot of excitement with this reading. So it's very interesting. I feel like there's a lot of love coming towards you. But I do feel like you have an important decision that you need to make. So I feel like your next 48 hours is going to be very interesting, Aries. So many blessings to you and to your next reading. Love and light.